We've seen how to create 3D surface maps inside Surfer, but that's not the only way to view maps in 3D. There's actually a better way to view maps in 3D. So let's go and use the same grid that we've used in the 3D surface map video. So, but this time we are going to view that as a contour map. So we go to contour and pick that 3D map uh, grid and click on open. And you can see that we have that same uh, grid that we've used for the 3D surface map, but now as a 2D uh, map. So in here, you can change the uh, color to something more vivid. So we pick that uh, layer in there. We go to levels and pick uh, something like terrain and you can see that we have the color scale bar that changed automatically in here okay so now we're still in the uh, 2d plot let's take a look at that same uh, 3d surface map so let's select this one and you can see that even that this one looks like 3d uh, but it is all always still on the same 2d plot in here so let's delete that one and see how to actually view this one in 3D. Okay, so to do that, we pick the map and then go to View under Properties and we click on 3D View. You'll see that we will have a new window now in which we can see things in 3D. Now with the mouse wheel, the left button, you just click and drag and you will be able to rotate this view to whatever you want. You can click on the uh, uh, middle um, or middle button or the mouse wheel button to move it up and down. Okay. So now in the content we have different things. We have the environment which contains surfaces and vector data. Now the environment is actually everything that we have in this 2D plot. So let's say that we have two different layers in here like satellite image and everything uh, in this same plot. Everything is going to be overlaid and will be shown here in 3D. Okay, so that's the surfaces. We can hide them and this will be hidden. And for the vector data we have the contours that they are generated uh, from the uh, grid file based on the data set that we've used. And you can view the contours in 3D. You can hide the surfaces and view only the contours if you want. Okay, now let's pick the environment in here and you can see the different uh, parameters that we can edit. So pick the environment and we have the model to be smooth or flat. So that changed the way this is going to be rendered. And you can also choose the light position the same thing that we've done in the 3d surface map whether it is horizontal or vertical and whenever you're happy you keep it as it is and you can also change the different colors for the uh, light for from the ambient diffuse and specular you can play around with these to pick up whatever color you want okay so now uh Another thing, we have a different toolbar in here that is different than the 2D plot. Now, this is the 3D plot. We have different things for navigation. We can zoom in, zoom out, or uh, do real time. So, uh, zooming in or zooming out. You can use the pen to move it. Or these, uh, I've shown you how to use the shortcuts. And, uh, and now, Let's say that we want to choose this wall in here, and this actually uh, means that we are going to be uh, walking along the surface. So you can uh, walk along the surface in here to view the different, you know, uh, uh, things about the map. And this is actually cool. And there's also go to home here, which brings the default view. And you can set your own default view. Let's say that you want to set this here as the default view. You can 
click on set home and now let's for example zoom in using the walk and I want to go back to that view that I've set as default all I have to do is to click go to home okay so let's make this as our uh, home and there's one more thing to show in this video is we can actually create a fly through video and that's really cool if you want to send that to a client or put it in a presentation so to do that we need to go create an edit fly through and what we need to do here is to import a uh, vector path if you have that in a DXF file or a shape file you can use that or you can create that inside surfer so since we don't have that so we'll create that in surfer and then we'll see how to how to modify these kind of things to get the best look that you want so to do that we need to go back to the uh, 2D view and what we want to do here is we want to add E uh, add to map and let's add an empty base so that we have the same coordinates of that uh, map and then to the base here we are going to start editing and we can now choose the spline tool for example or the polyline let's choose the spline and I'm going to create a smooth spline that goes around here and stops there and double click to finish it so this is the polyline or the, poly, or the, the line that we are going to use to uh, create a fly through path let's go back to the 3D view now and let's go create and edit and you can see now we can select that spline in here and this is actually the different vertices of that spline you can edit these if you want now you can see that we have different Z elevation in here that goes they're actually the same elevation at uh, where that point was created in the map you can set the elevation to an absolute height for example that the flight path is going to be at an elevation of 2000 you can see that everything changed to, to 2000 in here or you can change that to relative which means that if the surface is for example uh, 200 and we set this to 100 it's going to add and increment another 100 to that elevation so let's set this to uh, an absolute height to 2000 and this actually uh, the duration of the animation so the more uh, frames per second the smoother the animation and the more uh, better it looks but also the size of the video is going to be higher also you can the camera is going to be along the path or it could be a constant direction in degrees you can set that in here or a constant point so uh, this if we set this for example the coordinate of this one and we go around it so the camera is going to be always pointing to that direction so we're going to keep it as a long path for the moment and click on OK and to view that animation all you have to do is to click on play and you can see now we're following that path that we've created at a constant elevation which is 2000 if you don't like the elevation you can go back and change that to a higher or lower elevation or edit that path in the 2D view and see how it looks if you're happy with the video all you have to do is click record the fly through and you can save that as an AVI file which is a video format that you can use in your presentation or whatever you want so uh, that's it for this video uh, I hope to see you in the next video